In this video, I'm going to calculate the covariance matrix and the expected returns for the different assets. You should be able to do this already based on the previous pass that you've gone through, but if not, watch this video to get to that point. If you are comfortable with calculating the covariance matrix and returns, uh, then skip to the next video. So I start here and I make sure that I have this saved so I can do a pivot table. And by the way, the first thing I do is I just made the data look neat. Because I think it's important as you go to make the data look neat. So I go to Insert Pivot Table uh, and just click OK. And then I have the date. It's going to go in the row. The ticker is going to go in the column. The return is going to go to Values. And I'm going to rename this sheet as I go because I want to know how to find stuff when I need it later. So I'm going to call this uh, Pivot Table. And I want to copy this pivot table over. I don't want to work with this. I just want to copy it. So I'm going to do Control C, come to a new sheet, and then Control V. And there's my new sheet. I want to get rid of these top rows here. So I delete that. And I'm going to call this Date. And when I do this, Control Down, uh, I get the grand total at the bottom. And I don't need that. That's trash data. So I get rid of that. Then Control Back Up. And I want to be able to view this. Uh, with the top row visible. So I just do view top row and then I'm going to come to this place and just format it to look good. Bold, underline, center and I want to have these formatted and I'll put them in number and four decimals, no particular reason and I'll double click right here to size the column width and I'm going to have the data here look like this in the date format. So I come up here and I have date format and I just like it to be uniform. I can do this. And now I have all my data the way I like it. Control down. Notice I go control down and I get to the bottom of the data. And the reason I froze this top row is I can see that this is an Apple return. This is a Home Depot return. So I type equal average. And notice when average comes up I can do tab. And by doing tab it goes down to average automatically. Up arrow 2 to a period. And that locks down where I am now. And then I can just do control up. Control up goes all the way to the top. And I don't need the first one with Apple. Close with parentheses, multiply by 12. And that gives me the annualized. I multiply by 12 because this is monthly data. Now the annualized returns. Now I just copy it over. And then I put that in percent format. And then I can come back to the top here. And I'm going to make this small just because I want to. And I'm going to go to data. I want to do the covariance matrix. So data, data analysis, covariance. And I'm going to select a range. And that range is from doing something previous. The range is remembered by Excel. But I'm going to select a new range here. And by the way, I can select the range. Let me show you a faster way to select that range. I can just type right here to the period and then go over with my arrow key and then do control down and I have it that, that simply. Then where do I want the output? Um, I want the output to be, let's see, well if I put it right here and I have labels in the first row so I've checked that click OK. And now I want to call this, this is my covariance matrix, so I want to just call it covariance matrix. I have to spell covariance correctly of course. And I want to merge and center this to make it look good. So I go home, I do merge and center, bold, italics, because I like the way that looks. Uh, and I need to flip this. I'm going to do calculations, with matrix calculations. I need to have numbers in the entire matrix. So do control C, come down here, control V, that copies it. Control C again, come up to here, paste special. <coughs> now paste special. I want to transpose it, which will flip it over, but I want the blanks to disappear, so I skip blanks. And I don't want to have, see this underline right here? I don't want that underline to show up. I'll show you what happens. Let me not skip blanks first, by the way. So if I don't skip blanks, see what happened. It just flipped this over, and it kept the underline, which I don't want. So if I, again, if I could copy this, Control C, come here paste special and again I'm going to transpose it I tell it to skip the blanks and I'm going to tell values okay and now what happens is I don't have that underline 
and it flips over. And we'll make this look good, so I'm going to give it the number format. I don't need this stuff, so I'm going to control, I'm going to clear the contents. I still have that underline right there, so I just highlight that part. Come here, and no border. Now I need to annualize this by multiplying by 12, so I just type a 12, control C, highlight all of this, and then I'm going to paste special, multiply, and that multiplies every number by 12. Hit escape to get rid of that, and then I don't need that anymore. So next I want to look at uh, the stock returns, and I want to see them up here. And They're down here at the bottom, but I just want to see them better they're, and make them closer. You don't have to do that, but I think it looks better. So I'm going to do Control C, so I can copy this over to here, Control V. I'm going to make this column small so I can see a break in it. These are my stocks, and these are going to be my returns. And I'm going to make it bold and underlined and centered. I'm going to highlight this whole thing. I'm going to put it in a box just because I think having that border looks good. And then here, I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to type equal transpose. So transpose, come down here, control down, highlight all of this, and then control shift enter. And here I am, I have those transposed over. And let me just put that in percent format. So now I have the covariance matrix and the returns, and they're annualized. And that's it for this video.